There are very few jobs as tough as being press secretary for President Donald Trump. And trust me, I know, I got a family connection to that job. But my next guest handled that job brilliantly. She's now the co-host of Outnumbered on Fox News, and she's got a brand new book. It's called For Such a Time as This, My Faith Journey Through the White House and Beyond. It is a genuine pleasure to welcome a young lady whose first job was working for me back at Fox News years ago. I have the greatest respect, and I want you to give her a great big welcome, Kaylee McEnany. brought your fan club with you out here. Oh, thank you, it's so fun. <laughs> I'm so excited about the book. You know, that statement by Esther in the Old Testament, for such a time as this. Yes. You kind of felt like that your life was indeed for such a time as this. Yes, um, look, I think sometimes people will ask me, how do you know God is real? How do you know Christ is real? Uh, the way I know he's real is he's reached out to me, he's spoken to me, and oftentimes it's through duplication. And what I mean by that is I was so nervous to take the job as press secretary. I'm riding up the Eastern Corridor because I didn't want to get on a plane. I didn't want the press to see me on a plane yeah. and be like, Kaylee's on a plane during COVID. So we drove all the way from Florida to D.C. My husband did uh, in his Ford truck. We're driving <laughs> up and my dad said, Kaylee, maybe you were made for such a time as this. A uh, few mm -hmm. weeks later, a Democrat commentator, it was actually Van Jones of CNN, said, Kaylee, maybe you were made for such a time as this. And oftentimes when two people provide you the same message, Christians in particular providing you that message, Christ is trying to say, hey, I want you to hear this message. And he certainly wanted me to hear that. You've had <laughs> such an interesting series of events in your life. You went from the Fox News Channel went on to law school, you know, you have Georgetown uh, BA and then Harvard Law. Um, you ended up working for CNN as a commentator, where it was basically you and right. Rick Santorum against the world over Eight there. on one. <laughs> it really was just bizarre. It must have been a challenge, though, to be in such a different environment, but that prepared you for the White House press room, didn't it? There is no doubt about it that being pummeled by eight people at once, the host included, who's a leftist <laughs> at CNN, uh, being pummeled by Jim Acosta minis all through CNN, it prepares you for standing at the podium to be actually pummeled by Jim Acosta <laughs> and others. Were you ever at a point where you were just ready to jump up off the set and say, you folks are crazy, I'm out of here. Did that ever happen? You have a daughter who I'm sure felt the same way I did at times. <laughs> uh, yes, you do get to those moments, but that's where information, like what your daughter, she actually texted me um, before I took to the podium. I was very nervous to go to the podium that day. Look, I had done all the you know academic preparation. I had done all the spiritual preparation. I had read Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Your daughter texted me. And I was so nervous and she sent me a list of advice. She did such a great job at the podium. And she said, most importantly, pray. And she mm. sent me a picture of her Jesus Calling devotional exactly two years prior to the day I took the podium. And her Jesus Calling devotional told me not to worry. I've made you for this moment. I prepared uh. you for this moment. It was something I was meant to hear. But I did worry, even though her devotional said, don't worry. I worried to the point of uh, being in tears before I went to the podium. Uh, my assistant came in, you can't be crying right now, Haley. <laughs> she got my family on speakerphone. We prayed together. I got on my knees in the West Wing bathroom, um, prayed. Um, and then Mike Pence, after right before I went to the podium, did praying hands towards me and said he'd been praying for me. And when I took to the podium, the serenity I had uh, that day came from Christians praying across the country. Mm. Um, and I can tell you the times I wanted to lash out at the press corps, the serenity stopped me from doing so and the prayers meant the world to me. It is so encouraging to hear when you talk about your job, <laughs> to hear you talk about it in the context of your faith. And I so rejoice in the fact that in your book, you are unapologetic and you're unafraid to connect the career as well as your Christian conviction. So many people want to kind of just keep that backstage. Don't ever tell anybody what you really believe. And Kaylee, this is such a powerful book because it, you don't have to be the press secretary to the president to be able to understand how important it is to take your faith to work with you. 
Because at the end of the day, it's not about what I did in politics. It's not about what I said at the podium. It's not about even what President Trump achieved for this country. And he achieved a lot of good for this country. And I'm so proud of the job he did. He did. He did. But at the end of the day, it's not about that. I'm going to meet my creator. I'm going to see Jesus Christ. And I hope he says, good job, you know, good and faithful servant. And I hope he says that because I want to be vocal about my faith because at the end of the day, it's who I've brought to Christ. Uh, they, I, there are many good Christians on the other side of the aisle, and you just kind of have that heartstring that connects the two of you, like Van Jones and myself. He's a Christian. Yeah. He's a man of Christ. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Who have I brought to Christ? Not, you know, what have I done for my country? It's who have I brought to Christ that's most important at the end of the day. Before I let you go, and I, I really do hope people get your book because it really will give them a perspective about uh, the power of faith in your life and how it can be in theirs. Tell us something we don't know that you learned about Donald Trump working behind the scenes in the White House. I learned, you know, because I didn't know him well. Everyone thinks, you know, I knew him very well before I got there. I didn't. Um, I learned what a family man he was. I, I will never forget the first call he made to me after getting the job. He said, Kaylee, is your daughter going to be okay? Is your husband going to be okay? And I remember I got on Marine One with him. That's where you take off to go on to Air Force One. And um, I, he said, why aren't you with your family tonight? Why are you here? And I said, I'm your press secretary. I'm here. He said, no, <laughs> why aren't you with your husband, your daughter? I said, well, my husband has a baseball game. He goes, wait, your husband has a baseball game? Like he may be pitching in Major League Baseball? I said, yes. The whole night he asked me, like, why aren't you watching your husband? Like, you should be at that baseball game. And as we're landing on Marine One, he says to me, go to my private dining room my, in my Oval Office, put your feet up and watch your husband. And by the way, never miss one of his games in the future. Send one of the young kids here. And I learned, wow, this man's a family man. He's the real deal. And it was an honor to work for him and an honor to work for you, I've got to say. Well, best boss I've had. <laughs> Trump was great, but you were, you were the best. Well, you got to say that you're on my show tonight, but I thank you. <laughs> no, I mean it. When I saw you and you were on our staff, I knew then this young lady is one of the smartest, most brilliant, thoughtful young people I've ever known. Thank you. Wherever the top is, she's headed there, and you have proven it to be true again and again. Thank Kaylee, you so great much. to see you. For such a time as this, it's available everywhere on December 7th, so it's not quite out yet. But here's the good news. You can pre-order it right now. What a great Christmas idea. So be sure also to watch Kaylee on Outnumbered on Fox News every day at noon Eastern. Now, you can find out more information about Kaylee. Just go to Huckabee.tv. We have connections to all things Kaylee McEnany.